This is what's left of Cochrane's trailer court. It's not the community it used to be with 80 people in 32 homes. There's families with kids from all ages, from baby up. And uh, then there's seniors, um, a number of seniors who uh, thought they'll move here and uh, retire here. Not after they learned the trailer court was sold to a developer, residents were given until the end of this August to move out. I'm really pissed off <laughs> in plain English, you know, that this has happened to us. All our savings, our life insurance and everything went into when we bought this trailer. So if we have to move, I don't know where we're going to move to. This all happened because the town changed its land use bylaw. As part of that, the trailer court was rezoned, but there was no public hearing about that specific change. The land use bylaw review was a comprehensive review of our land use bylaw, again, not a site-specific review. When, when, when council approves a land use bylaw and a developer or a landowner wishes to, to have that land redeveloped, that, that is their option. The people have right to set, sell land and all these things. But uh, there are, uh, there's a time when there's a moral responsibility to our fellow human beings. Residents started a petition, hired a lawyer, and waited to see if town council might move the trailer court someplace else. After taking more than three months to consider their options, members of Cochrane Town Council voted unanimously not to spend any taxpayer money to help the trailer court residents. Instead, the town pledged to support them in any other way possible. And it became very apparent from our community as time went on that there was a very strong sentiment not to see taxpayers' dollars used to fund the solution. Then, just when residents didn't know what to do, we're sending out an SOS today. Help arrived led by a former pro wrestler and the owner of a local car dealership. Mike Vernon, CBC News, Cochrane.